What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. Not only am I hypnotizing you with the spitting fan, I am also unboxing one of the latest Blackberries to come out of Waterloo. This is the Torch 9860. Let's go ahead, hack on in, and see if it can illuminate the way to your pocket. Making a triumphant return is the obligatory big ass knife. Here it is in all of its unnecessary gratuitousness. This 9860 is OEM, that means no carrier on it. And it comes courtesy of the folks at Negri Electronics. That's where generally we get all of our uh, unlocked giveaway items and where all of our unlocked phones come that we review. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the box. It's black. It says Blackberry. There's nothing on the side. Without sort of the carrier flair, these boxes can get very boring. We've got some stuff on the side and some legal business on the back. Blah, blah, blah. Let's go ahead and hack on in. I'm happy to use the obligatory knife again. I suppose by using the obligatory knife, I also have to make an obligatory joke about not cutting my finger off. So let's try that again. Ow! Alright. Peel off the plastic. Uh, this is the GSM version, so it'll work on AT&T or Rogers if you're in Canada, on their HSPA Plus network, or any other uh, carriers that have compatible uh, 3G or 4G or 4G, whatever you want to call it, uh, networks. This is available, though, in the CDMA variants on Verizon and Sprint. In fact, Mike Perlman actually reviewed uh, the Sprint version of it. I'll put a link down to that down below. Go ahead and pull it out of the box. There it is. Feels pretty uh, decent in the hand. Push it out to the side. See what else we're gonna get. I'm guessing there's gonna be a battery and a wall charger. And some books, which no one's gonna read. So, headphones with microphone, yay. Battery, the bane of my existence, the JM1 battery. Uh, this thing is awful. It's the same battery that's used in the 9900. Uh, they're supposedly going to get 4.7 hours of talk time on this, although it's extremely doubtful. Uh, it's 1,230 milliamp hours. Wall charger, micro USB cable. Great. Let's go ahead and push all this stuff in the box. And let's take a look at the phone. Here is the phone. Let me zoom on in a little bit. Come on closer. Hey there. All right. So there we go. All right. Since I know you guys love stickers on here, I'm going to go ahead and leave that on there. No, I'm just kidding. Let's go ahead and... Peel that sucker off. Do the same thing here on the back. And I'll go ahead and pop in the battery first. Let's go ahead and pull off the back and let it boot up and I'll talk about it. Uh, this does have a metal back. It certainly has a much uh, higher quality feel than other devices we've seen. SIM card obviously go in there. Micro USB card also, or micro SD card rather will also go in there. It doesn't look like the uh, OEM version actually ships with one though. So bear that in mind. I am not going to pop in the SIM card right now. Put on the back. Hopefully, I can do this in one shot. Boom, and I did. All right, let's power it on. Let's talk about this guy, because there's some interesting things here. Hopefully there's enough juice to make this thing work. And it looks like there is. Okay, so the Torch 9860, it's mostly just a big screen. On um, that big screen is 3.7 inches with a resolution of 800 by 480. I mentioned the battery life. I'll talk about that probably in the review. Uh, from a size and weight standpoint, 4.72 by 2.44 by 0.45 and weighs 4.76 ounces. So if you kept track of all that, it's a pretty thin phone actually, even with the battery in. Uh, it feels really good in the hands, very, very light. Camera lives on the back. 5 megapixel camera, 4 times digital zoom, flash, HD video recording at 720p. There's a flash. This guy will actually have autofocus. You don't have autofocus on the bold uh, 9900. Uh, memory, it's got 4 gigs internal, of course, you can up that with a 32 gig CAD. Uh, it's got 768 megabytes of RAM, and it's being powered by a 1.2 gigahertz single core processor. And there we are, it is booted up. If you ever booted up an older Blackberry or an OS 6 Blackberry, you know it takes forever. Uh, this one is actually relatively quick. Alright, so let's see what we got here. Proximity sensor, typical array of Blackberry buttons. These are physical, pushy, clicky non-capacitive buttons, got your home button, your Blackberry button, five-way optical trackpad you can push in, back button, and call end button. On the left-hand side, let me peel off this back, I know it's just going to annoy you folks. Ha-ha. Uh, the metal has a bit of soft touch feel to it, it really actually feels very nice in the hand. 
Uh, on the left hand side, there is the micro USB charging port right in the middle, which is great that it's in the middle. If you want to put this thing in a dock because you're going to have to charge the battery, because I'm guessing it's going to suck as badly as the 9900, you can also sync it um, with that port. Uh, microphone port on the bottom, on the right hand side, hidden, like very stealthily, really hard to find, uh, is volume rockers. So that is there. I think there is, there's a hard button there, uh, which you can use, maybe if you can see that on camera, uh, for the camera is what it's set to for default. 3.5 millimeter headset jack. There's the camera on the back. On the top, you've got the lock button. So all kinds of stuff going on here. Let's go ahead and hit exit this, exit this. So this is all touchscreen, accelerometer based, all that business. Uh, let's take a look at the keyboard. I was not the biggest fan of the keyboard on the Storm devices. There's no sure press here. This is just a capacitive screen. Doesn't click or do anything else fancy. Uh, but the keyboard has been done and revamped. Let's take a look at it. Go to text message. I'll create a new one. Create. All right, that's fine. All right, so here is the keyboard. And this is obviously in the uh, landscape orientation. I have not used this before at all, so this will be a very first test. I lost it. Try that again. That is not a good shot. This is a test. So I wasn't that accurate, but the autocorrect actually is pretty good. Hopefully I got it on camera. Let's switch it on over. Let's try it this way. This is a test. This is a yet. This us a yet. So probably gonna take some getting used to. Um, but that was a very first shot. You can see what the keyboard looks like. See how quick the rotation is. It's actually pretty fast. Uh, we've got a full WebKit based browser and I'll show all that kind of good stuff here about the torch. Uh, 9860 in an upcoming video. Anything that you guys want to see in particular, leave your comments down below. Again, a special thanks to the folks at Negri for hooking us up with this phone. I'm actually pretty excited to uh, dig in. I've been using a 9900 actually as my dedicated device for a while. So I'm going to switch on over to this guy and give it a shot. Just for a size comparison sake, here they are side by side. I don't know if you'd call them brothers, sisters, or distant cousins. But let's go ahead and see what they look like in that Blackberry sandwich. So there's the thickness. You guys can't hear my cat snoring in the background. She is just snoring like crazy. I swear there's a cat in there somewhere. Not sure which end is her head and which end is her tail. That's Mercedes. We call her Sadie. Um, here's the back of them. Uh, the plastic back with NFC right here. No NFC on this guy. At least I don't believe so. Um, if there is, I'll uh, annotate it. And that is about it. If anything you guys want to see comparisons head to head, let me know. Leave your comments down below. I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.